represented here at NAC Act 2021 are HBCUs. And for those of you who are not familiar, historically black colleges and universities. And sitting here with me right now is TJ Snowden representing the Director of Admissions for Morehouse College. And I should say, House, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> the absolutely. House. I love it. Thank you so much for being here. So when you think about your role as the director of admissions representing this uh, prestigious institution, what does it mean to be here at NACAC 2021 representing Morehouse? Well, thanks for, uh, for that question. And I think it's a great opportunity for us to uh, just show that we are, we are wanting to be engaged with the larger uh, community of admissions counselors, both on the high school side as well as the, uh, the collegiate side. It's, it's a great opportunity for us to network, great opportunity for us to, it's really great that we're here in person and be able to come together because you know, having to do this over Zoom or you know, Teams meetings, it has been hard. challenging <laughs> right, and hard, right? I, I, I tell my wife sometimes that when the, the Super Bowl came on and they had a, a commercial for Teams, when I heard the ding sound, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go to work and do a meeting. And so it is, uh, but it, it's great to be here. It's great to see some old friends and make some new, uh, new ones and some new acquaintances. And it's a great opportunity for us as HBCUs to be uh, engaged on this uh, on this level where we can find uh, additional information about how we can meet our goals uh, as admissions representatives uh, but also some new uh, best practices new avenues uh, that we can use to uh, to further educate our students about the college admissions process about what it is to be a, a college student and how to kind of go through this uh, and have a very, um, I would, it's not always going to be seamless, but it will certainly be a very um, uh, uh, educational a piece for not only the student, but their families as well. Tell me what information you are going to take back, because we know the process of admissions has probably changed Absolutely. Um, in the year because of COVID. Sure. But what have you, or what are you taking from this conference that will help you lead change with the theme in the college admission category? So one of the things that, uh, I'm not gonna say this, the beauty of COVID, but one of the things that COVID taught us to do as institutions, particularly smaller ones with, you know, what may be resource challenge, is that we have to now be in a space where students always are, and they are now more than ever on their phones, on their devices, they are more connected than any other uh, era of, of, of student or generation that we've had. And so to be able to come here and connect with vendors and, and other institutions, uh, big and small, to kind of you know, share in some, some ways that we've found challenges, but also how we can better reach our students. Uh, Utilizing because, technology. Yes, ma'am. So like one of the things that we're doing at Morehouse is that we have a partnership uh, with a company called Atheo. It's called, it's called Beam, where we are now using uh, cell phones uh, to create avatars for students to take them through a virtual recruitment process. So we're giving them the tour of being on campus, but then also providing a live recruiter or admissions representative to be able to talk them through some of the finer points uh, of, of interest at Morehouse College. Yeah, we have to meet them where they are, and that's Ab what you Absolutely. Doing. Yes, meeting them where they are is, is because everybody is not comfortable being in person, even you know with the last 18 months that we have not been. And so while we do have a number of students and families who are clamoring to come on campus, because it's something different when you can kind of smell the air and you can yeah. see the MLK statue on campus yeah. and all the other great things that you hear about from, from families, you know, we have those families who may not be able, whether it's a, uh, a monetary constraint or they just don't feel comfortable being in public. And while we do have certain protocols in place to make sure our families and our students stay safe, you know, we want to be able to still have the opportunity to say, look, here's a, a, a link or here's an app for you to download and you can be able to come see us on campus. And then we still have a virtual tour on our website as well. And so if they, you know, if they may not be as uh, well versed in, in downloading apps and the like, they can always go to our website and it's really a great uh, opportunity for them to get more information about Morehouse. Wow, this is amazing. So congratulations on the work that you're doing and for representing um, a population that oftentimes is overlooked. Sure. So thank you for being here representing the Atlanta College University system. We thank you very much. You. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mayo.